All right, so we're back for episode three. We're gonna open up the booth and show you what I do to get the car out of the booth now. And we'll check out all our nibs as we're removing the part. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look over the parts that don't need any polishing. Once they don't need polishing, they'll go over to the area where the body man picks up his parts and is ready to assemble the vehicle here. So as I'm looking over these here, these don't need any polishing. So we're gonna get these parts out of here first. This here wing is another part that's not gonna need any polishing. And uh, we're just gonna go over them and look at them and then move them out based off of that. So this hood is another thing that I don't think we're gonna have to polish anything on. And uh, that's a good thing because the hoods usually are the biggest pain to have to polish out and get everything done. And this one looks very, very clean. So we're gonna get out our parts and then when we do find a nib, we're gonna mark them. That way, once we get out the vehicle, we're able to find them quick and get them buffed out. So I see a nib right here on the quarter. We'll go ahead and hit that. And one here and one here. We did have one section of this quarter panel here that looked like something might've landed on it. Cause you can see it's in one area. And uh, that really is the only spot on this vehicle that has any dirt on it. So it must have came off of me. Usually in a job, the dirt will come off of you or the actual hose or the cup or the gun because you're hanging over the job. So something came off of me in that area. That's why we had that section with about three pieces of dirt in it. So we'll go ahead, get everything out and uh, keep checking them over. If we find a piece of dirt, we'll mark it and then we'll get it polished up and uh, out of here. So just wanted to show you how it goes down here first thing in the morning when we're unbagging them up. All right, so we're all pulled out of the booth and you guys see here, I left it masked up. We're only gonna be sanding a couple nibs on this job, but if you got more dirt, the more you leave it wrapped up, the better off you're gonna be for your compound slinging all over the place and uh, getting out of areas that you don't want it. So. We're focusing on here, this quarter panel, as I showed you. And as I was looking at it, I did find two more nibs in this. We've got one nib here on the fender, and then we've got one nib in the middle of that door there. So that's it for this car on the body. We've got three nibs on the bumper. We're gonna go ahead and get, and then we have a couple nibs over here, just like that quarter, it had a cluster of them. So that is probably from me coming up on this and leaning over it and just changing the air makeup in the booth. So we've got some dust right there. We had some dust in the quarter and a couple nibs on the other spots. You guys see here, I have everything on my mobile cart. It's a little messy at the moment, but everything is on this and I'm able to roll over to wherever I have to get my stuff buffed out. So right now we're very busy at this shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and handle all of that buffing before it gets assembled. That's the best way to do it. That way you know it's out of your hair and everything's finished up. All right, so we're gonna start out with the mini buffer. You guys know I like to use the mini buffer for my compounds to keep that scratch small. I don't wanna have to aggravate this. Look how beautiful that looks without having any compound on it. To me, once you buff something, it's harder to get it to this gloss again. This has a brilliant, brilliant gloss because it's never been touched with a rag, a towel or anything. So I like to keep it minimal and we're gonna go ahead here and hit this spot and then get it buffed up. And this is just the 3M compound with a small mini buffer. All right, so that's the compound. You guys see I use the small buffer. I wipe off my residual of the compound and you guys see it goes far even with that smaller buffer. So you get that out of the way, get it off the panel. And now I'll move into my bigger buffer with the finer pads and the polishes. That way I'm taking a bigger area, but I don't wanna take a bigger area with the compound. So wipe off your residual, get all that extra dust out of the way, and then move into your polish. Then we'll use our black pad with our step two from 3M. All right, same thing, clean off step two. You can change your rag if you want to and uh, don't touch it with a compound rag. And now we'll move into our blue pad with our step three, and then we'll do one final step after this here to really give it a nice gloss. 
All right, then I'm using one more final step. That's a red finishing pad on the random orbital with the blue polish. Now make sure you have a new rag when you're wiping off your polish. Don't use your old rag from the compound. And you guys see I took that further just to blend it in. That way this whole area is gonna look the same as this. You don't have to go further because you're stopping it almost like you would do a blend on a job. So this is it. We wipe it and that's the finished job right there. We'll finish that around. I won't show you that. Then we'll unmask it and I'll show it to you all done in the jams unmask how our edge turned out. And I'll let you guys see that. All right, so let's pull this tape and see how our uh, jam looks with our full tape. And uh, so far, you guys see it came out really nice. We didn't have any of the sealer creep past the base. As I was telling you guys, don't spray your sealer directly into those cracks. Try to go past it a little bit and turn the gun. So let's get this thing unbagged. All right, so it's all unbagged, everything is wiped down, and we will be doing one more polish once this thing is a fully assembled, just to make sure that it's good, and that way the clear will harden up. We've got all our parts over here now for assembly, and that's what's gonna go on now is the assembly of the vehicle. All right, so the glass is going back in it. You guys see the quarter glass. We installed the rear hatch glass. Both sides are done. And uh, then it's gonna go ahead and get back over to the body man now. So the glass guy came in, popped them in, and we're ready to go. All right, so it's day one of the build for the body man. He's got the vehicle in his stall. He's got his wrenches ready. Hinges are up and hood's about to go on the vehicle here. So he's coming now with the hood. We'll put the hood on it first, and then we're gonna start assembling the car. So. We'll watch him do some of his deal to this vehicle here and get this thing back together. We got my man, George, and we got his sidekick, Justin, on this one. All right, first thing we gotta do once the hood is now on is put the weather strip back up. We pulled it back, that way we could get our tape around the edge. And then we'll bring down the hood and see what it looks like to the fenders. All right, let's drop the hood and see how it looks up to the fenders. It does have a little adjustment. We are a little tight in the back, so we might have to slide this hood over and uh, get this thing shifted over to the other side here. I gotta watch them trying to scratch my paint already here. All right, so we're shifting the hood over now and I'll show it to you guys once we get it uh, lined up. All right, so you guys can see now we have moved it over and uh, the adjustment's good on it. So look at that nice red. This guy should be happy with it. Next thing we're going to do is assemble the front end of this. I'm going to put this on a time lapse and uh, have George finish up the front end for you. Before we install the headlights, we're going to go ahead and give them a quick polish. That way they look nice going on that nice paint job because to put them in and then polish it, it's not a good idea, especially around that fresh paint because these are headlights that butt up tight to the hood and the fender. So get your headlights polished prior to putting them back in the car. And that's what George is going to go ahead and do now and get them looking really nice. All right, the lights are all polished up. They look a lot better than they did. And now we'll put them in the vehicle and get the front end of this thing all built up. All right, we got the last two bolts going in the bumper. George has that bumper on there now and you guys see it looking good. The headlights are in, polished up, the bumper's on it. We've got the Z emblem on the actual fender now. And then we're going to continue on with the doors. We've got to put these trims on around the pillar here that meet up to the actual lift gate. And then we'll be doing the back bumper on it. So it's coming along good. We're making progress on it and uh, we'll continue on. All right, so my man George is doing his thing, assembling the car 
getting it all put back together and uh, he was doing a really nice job on this taking his time because he didn't want to actually scratch anything and uh, we had a lot of time invested on this one me and him so you see him here getting the final screws in it and now together everyone in the shop is helping him put on that hatch because that was a pain it had to actually slip down inside the actual jam to get the bolts on so here's the spoiler you guys see me paint this was actually a two-piece spoiler that we actually took apart to fix it and here he is gluing it with a two-part and then he will put the top on this and seal it up nice and tight that way it'll be all back together and that's what you're seeing him do here now is installing the bottom to the top and uh, he has it taped nice you see there he didn't want to get any glue on the outside of that thing and then it had a couple of screws that went inside it and here it is on the vehicle all looking good and you guys see there see how that butts up to that gate with all them holes so that's why we wanted to get that apart and uh, do it right so there's the belt moldings on it we've got the antenna we've got the handles in it emblems on it and there's the rockers going back on the vehicle there sitting there waiting for him to get it on and he puts them on now so that's the final assembly of the job putting the rockers on it and then this thing is going to be heading over to the detail department and getting this thing all washed up. So those are the appliques. And now we're gonna be washing it, vacuuming it up. And my man Roger's doing his thing, getting this thing cleaned up for the customer. And uh, he does a really nice job at the shop, cleaning them up and uh, getting these things up to par for the customer. So he was representing the RCP America again. He loves that stuff. And uh, he's doing the inside. We get the inside done in the shop. Then he rolls them out and he does the washing outside you guys see him here he's got a brand new wash mitt he picked up for this car that way he has no scratches in it so you guys will see it soon all right so i got word that the car is all finished up and it's out front so we're going to go check it out but i wanted to show you one that we're going to be doing soon on the channel here this is a gtr and we're going to be putting a front bumper painting a door and doing some paint work on it but the bumper on this one's going to be part carbon and part paint so it's going to be a cool one to follow when i get to my uh videos on this one so let's go check out the old 370z and see how it looks all finished up All right, so let's go over it a little bit and I'll show you guys the jam lines on it and also underneath the trunk because you guys know we did that and we took it all the way in. So this job here definitely came out nice. You guys can see it looks clean. Remember when I was telling you guys about taking this in here nice, taping it on here so you have no line, that all looks clean. And now it's gonna be looking like it never was done. So also the jams, you guys see here the jam lines look beautiful. We've got no blow by in there. We've got no overspray and everything is nice and clean. So that way of doing that full tape definitely leaves a clean edge on the jams. And uh, this car is definitely standing tall right now with a fresh paint job on it. And uh, I think this customer is gonna be happy. So you guys know that this is a joint effort from everybody here at Mitchell Collision. This ain't just my work. It's everyone from the office all the way through. And this one definitely came out nice. So let's show you the jam, what I was telling you about the uh, taking it all the way in now. So look at how nice this looks here by bringing it all the way into the weather strip. When we removed this here shock, we had the tail light out. Now it's got a clean transition coming in when this is opened up and looks beautiful. So those are the little things that you got to think about when you're doing jobs and looking at the car and diagnosing how you want to go about doing it because it's going to make a big difference once it's all said and done so this job definitely came out nice let me know what you guys think of it give it a thumbs up if you're new to the channel hit subscribe this is an auto body channel and we do a lot of paint jobs on all different stuff from teslas to bmws to customs to old schools so hit subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next one